Guys, this could actually be one of the biggest crypto hacks and breaches in history. I'm talking about Squarespace. Yes, no direct money was lost, but probably a lot of people got fished and over 100 crypto projects, uh, you know, their websites were actually breached. This is one of the issues, even though crypto is technically decentralized and the back end was decentralized, note that none of the protocols were actually hacked. The issue is that like a lot of these hosting services are not decentralized. And I think decentralized hosting is still quite a ways off. A lot of uh, these services use Amazon Cloud, Microsoft Cloud, Google Cloud, or another one of these big services. And if they do, if one of these gets breached, the entire thing could actually get breached. You know, like there's a lot of Cardano nodes, a lot of Ethereum nodes, a lot of validators, and etc. But how many of those are actually um, hosted on like, you know, AWS or Google Cloud or Microsoft Cloud? That's a big point of failure. So, uh, you know, things like Filecoin, etc. they do have a reason for existing. Decentralized storage, decentralized nodes, decentralized computing is very important. And crypto has to get on those things eventually if it really truly wants to be decentralized because even though different people own the nodes, if you take over one service, you could actually take over uh, one of the nodes or many of the nodes. Like, you know, if AWS hosts like, you know, 300 or 400 nodes, even if the 300 nodes are owned by different people, it really doesn't matter because all it takes is one hacker to actually uh, take down AWS. Now, AWS obviously has a lot of security. It's Amazon, but it's not inconceivable they can be hacked. You know, the federal, like even government websites can be hacked. So Amazon can actually be hacked as well. Same thing with Google and Microsoft. And Squarespace, I think, just brings this to the forefront because over 103 um, crypto projects had their websites defaced. We know the big ones like Seller Network and uh, Compound Finance. Compound Finance was turned into a phishing site. It was not Compound Finance's fault. It was Squarespace's fault. And I know that Squarespace is going to lose a lot of face for this and is going to lose a lot of trust for this as they should. But hosting services get hacked from time to time. That's inevitable. Hackers are getting better and better and it's not avoidable. So it's actually really hard to solve this problem. I don't really know of a decentralized host. Um, the thing is, yeah, a lot of hosts do have servers in many data centers. So they're not piled into one data center, but with a control panel and everything, um, and the controls, like a lot of it is still centralized, whether it's like, you know, a centralized control panel for their servers or whatever. Uh, many, most hosting services actually have like, you know, backup data centers and backs up to those. Like they're stored in like at least four or five data centers. But if you hack into the back end, you can actually control all that stuff. And Squarespace is an example. And of course, like, you know, most crypto people, a lot of them aren't like, you know, website designers. They're going to use a service like Squarespace. So they tend to gather at a couple of places. And that makes it very, very dangerous. So you know, if one of these crypto services is asking for your personal information, you should definitely think twice because crypto isn't supposed to ask for your personal information. Crypto is supposed to be decentralized. They're supposed to be able to operate without it. Obviously, if you're on a centralized exchange, that is a completely different story altogether. CEXs have to gather their, your information by law. But if you are working just with a protocol, they should never need your information. They should never need your, uh, you know, like, um, your mnemonic code, they should never need your private address or anything like that. So if you see that, something probably is fishy. But this is a huge, huge problem for crypto. It's very easy for, Peter, uh, for people to target since crypto is non-reversible uh, in terms of transactions. Once they get your money, you can't really get it back. And um, yeah, this is, I think like in terms of monetary value, not much was stolen, but I consider this one of the biggest breaches in crypto industry history. And even though the crypto industry wasn't at fault, people are going to look at this and be very weary and they're not going to want to uh, involve themselves in the crypto industry like this. I mean, not to mention that like we have another, you know, finance protocol actually get hacked just the other day for $1.8 million. You know, there's way too many hacks and cracks in, in our industry for people that really take it seriously and for many people to get in. I do think that's where the ETF comes in because the ETF being issued by BlackRock or Fidelity, that gives people confidence to actually buy BlackRock or Fidelity because they think it's a more secure buy than Bitcoin itself. You know, if it gets lost, they can just complain to BlackRock or Fidelity and they are actually insured, whereas like normal crypto is not insured. So there's a lot that goes into this. 
But the Squarespace hack is kind of an ominous sign that we do need decentralized hosting, at least for crypto projects. Now, or like you can, you can host your stuff at CDNs all over the place, where if you find like one gets hacked, you can just like, um, you know, to redirect your website to somewhere else. That's a, a CDN is a content delivery network. You have several mirrors operating on several servers. Yes, the cost is great, but if you're basically running a protocol that's handling hundreds of millions of dollars and you're dealing with a lot of clients that could easily get fished, you need fast, rapid response. And if you're just on Squarespace, obviously that's not really possible. It has to have, it has to be like their technical people responding because the hacker can lock you out of your own account. So a lot of stuff going on here, but very, very bad uh, for crypto, even though it's not really crypto's fault. It is Squarespace's fault. But so many crypto projects basically going down at once, at least the front end, and you know a lot of people getting fished does not bode well. So crypto has a lot to work on. So let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.